The question of whether we are the only ones in this entire massive universe, or if there exists some other civilization, has bothered us humans for decades. Many experiments have been conducted over the years, but scientists are still unanswered. However, one of the greatest mysteries is about to be unraveled by the most advanced and modern technology that has recently been launched into space. You guessed it right, we are talking about the massive James Webb Space Telescope whose incredible features are going to unravel a decades-old and intriguing mystery. Welcome to Techland. Today, we are going to find out how the JWST will answer the question of the presence of some other civilizations in the universe. We humans are the only civilization in this universe, for now at least. Despite the efforts, technology, and studies, scientists still could not confirm if there is the presence of aliens out there in the cosmos. They have been searching for the possible signs of life, and the only thing found related to the living organisms is methane. So if life is abundant in the universe, so will be methane. But the question is, how scientists are going to detect this compound in this massive universe? The answer to not only our question, but also to one of the most asked questions lies in the iconic masterpiece, the James Webb Space Telescope. Named after late government official James Webb, who oversaw NASA for a number of years during his time in public service, James Webb Space Telescope is NASA's largest and most powerful space science telescope. It's one of NASA's great observatories that include massive space telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope that peer deep into space. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will explore the cosmos to learn more about the universe's history from the Big Bang to the formation of alien planets and beyond. It is created to answer perhaps the most perplexing question of all, whether there is someone or something alive out there in the cosmos, or if we are completely alone. In order to work toward finding the possibility of life, scientists recently explained what, precisely, Webb should be looking for in pursuit of alien life. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared space observatory equipped with four science instruments that will enable observations in visible, near-infrared, and mid-infrared wavelengths. It is this feature of the telescope that is going to help the scientists get their answers. So when the James Webb aims at exoplanet atmospheres, it'll use spectroscopy to identify chemical elements. One of the things it's looking for is methane a chemical compound that can indicate the presence of life. A team of researchers from the University of California, Santa Cruz, with support from NASA and the journal proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, presented that they have found that under certain conditions, methane could be a promising sign of life when found in a rocky exoplanet's atmosphere, surprisingly, even more so than oxygen. Now, you may be thinking that oxygen is the main component of life, so why not it, and why methane? Webb will look for biosignatures, also known as signs of life, by capturing light absorbing wavelengths. Different molecules or elements absorb different wavelengths, and the absorption properties of atmospheric oxygen are difficult to detect. So, although the presence of oxygen on a planet is thought to be the most important factor in habitability, UCSC experts believe that some rocky worlds could support biological life despite having low oxygen content. Maggie Thompson, a graduate student in astronomy and astrophysics at UCSC and lead author of the new study said, Oxygen is often talked about as one of the best biosignatures, but it's probably going to be hard to detect with JWST. Methane is a powerful biomarker. Finding a lot of methane in the atmosphere of an exoplanet could be the most reliable sign that life exists there. Methane can come from abiotic sources, but it is mostly produced by life. It has been referred to as a biosignature by the researchers of this study, implying that it could indicate the presence of ancient life. Methane is produced on Earth by underwater volcanoes, bacterial decomposition of vegetable matter, and vents on the ocean floor and is a strong greenhouse gas. The team reportedly looked at non-biological methane sources such as volcanoes, reactions in mid-ocean ridges, and hydrothermal vents as part of the study. Study co-author Joshua Christensen-Totten, 
at UCSC said, if you detect a lot of methane on a rocky planet, you typically need a massive source to explain that. We know biological activity creates large amounts of methane on Earth, and probably did on the early Earth as well because making methane is a fairly easy thing to do metabolically. Despite the fact that the element has been chosen as a possible explanation for alien life, Thompson warns that it may mislead experts. He said, there are two things that could go wrong. You could misinterpret something as a biosignature and get a false positive, or you could overlook something that's a real biosignature. If an exoplanet's atmosphere contains methane, the chemical could be a sign of life, as long as planetary conditions meet certain criteria. In the case of a small rocky planet orbiting a star like our Sun, the researchers found that atmospheric methane is more likely to be a biosignature if the planet meets three conditions. If there is also an atmospheric carbon dioxide, if the atmosphere has more methane than carbon monoxide, and if the planet is not water-rich. Lead author Maggie Thompson said in a statement, One molecule is not going to give you the answer. You have to take into account the planet's full context. Methane is one piece of the puzzle, but to determine if there is life on a planet, you have to consider its geochemistry, how it's interacting with its star, and the many processes that can affect a planet's atmosphere on a geological timescale. Methane is intriguing because it is a short-lived gas in the atmosphere. It is destroyed by photochemical reactions, so finding a lot of it indicates that something is constantly replenishing it. A large and visible source is required. Terrestrial planets, which are the focus of this study, require significant methane surface fluxes to sustain high atmospheric abundance. The study says, On Earth, life sustains large methane surface fluxes, and so, methane has long been regarded as a potential biosignature gas for terrestrial exoplanets. But not all methane detection will mean life. Any future methane detection in exoplanet atmospheres will require a method for scientists to work through. The researchers wanted to create a dedicated assessment of the planetary conditions needed for methane to be a good biosignature. Despite some previous research on methane biosignatures, there had never been a comprehensive, up-to-date assessment of the planetary conditions required for methane to be a good biosignature. We wanted to provide a framework for interpreting observations, so if we see a rocky planet with methane, we know what other observations are needed for it to be a persuasive biosignature," Thompson said. Finding methane on an exoplanet does not necessarily mean that life is there. This is because many non-biological sources can release the chemical, such as volcanoes, hydrothermal vents, and comet or asteroid impacts. One molecule is not going to give you the answer. You have to take into account the planet's full context," Thompson said. Methane is one piece of the puzzle, but to determine if there is life on a planet, you have to consider its geochemistry, how it's interacting with its star, and many processes that can affect a planet's atmosphere on a geologic timescale," she continued. Methanogens, or methane-producing microorganisms, were among the earliest life forms on Earth, originating between 4.11 and 3.78 billion years ago. They were so good at producing methane that early Earth probably had a hazy, methane-filled atmosphere like Saturn's moon, Titan, at the time. Perhaps one day, we'll discover an exoplanet with a methane-rich atmosphere similar to that of early Earth. If that happens, we'll most likely detect it from a long distance, making determining whether the source is biotic difficult. As NASA's James Webb Space Telescope comes to life, it will be able to study atmospheric methane in greater detail than other potential biosignatures, hence the scientists' interest in the new analysis. But the researchers caution that real data about real planets may still pose puzzles. Co-author Joshua Kersassens Totten, This study is focused on the most obvious false positives from methane as a biosignature. The atmospheres of rocky exoplanets are probably going to surprise us, and we will need to be cautious in our interpretation. The search for biosignatures in the atmosphere of exoplanets is a relatively new scientific endeavor. Before researchers can be confident in detecting things like methane, they must first do a lot of groundwork. 
The recent detection or non-detection of methane on Mars demonstrates how incomplete our knowledge of other planets is, and how methane detection may only be the beginning of a complete picture of a planet. What do you think about this? Is methane our key to alien civilization? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching.